channel i hope you are doing well welcome to the cruising through life family my youtube channel my chevrolet cruise right here i hope you are doing well this fine day and hope you are having a wonderful week if not hope your week gets better and if it is doing well hope it gets even better for you as well for to this video uh, we are going to talk about the hidden features of a chevrolet cruise and also like some of the features that does me covering some of the some of the cruises but also like some generations i do have a gen 1 cruise as shown behind me also i had a gen one but gen two cruises that had different hidden features but we're going to be covering some of those as well so yes yeah, so let's go again in this video because every car have a different hidden feature or some features that the manufacturer doesn't actually um promote or tell everyone about the one that we actually be hidden for if you actually find out about it and as you go through trim levels more and more features you're probably going to have so so go ahead and get to it. For all of my new subscribers or any people who are new watching the video, this is my Chevrolet Cruze. This is a 2013 Chevrolet Cruze uh, LTRS. Uh, I did modify the course, but let's give you a little quick walk around. Since we're going to the intro in the cabin, and we're gonna go start here. So right here, uh, mine is the messiness. Um, it's the armrest. So one of the things that it's not remote, but armrest can move. It can slide just like that. It's pretty cool. That's one of my favorite features, honestly. And another feature is right up here. It's a hidden compartment. Bam. I got my business cards in here and stuff like that. So yeah, check out my website for my photography. I like have it in the description. But yeah, you can basically have anything you want here, which is pretty cool. I like it. It's right there. Boop. Uh, now we go to the back, back seat. seat. Um, you have you pull this right here. You have this right here. Cup holders, which is pretty cool. And, but yeah, that's pretty the main feature right here for the okay, mic. So now we're on the passenger side. So right here, you can see this. Uh, basically, you can put magazines in it, or basically it's just another storage holder. Um, I'll zoom out a little bit. See right there. But yeah, it's a pretty cool feature. Sometimes I keep a little bit of tools that I may need, like a tin. Yes, I should keep a tin wrench just because like you actually do use it, but also it's hard to lose. So a bit hard to lose, you keep it right there. But yeah, magazines, some mail, anything and such right there could go. Right there. So now we are underneath the hood. Uh for the first gen cruises, you're gonna have your battery right here. But when you look have for your gen two cruises are basically 2016 and up um with basically a half model all until like 2021 or where the last year they made each other cruise you're gonna have your battery inside the trunk and speaking of the trunk your latch for your trunk is actually gonna be upside right on top of the plate it's gonna be right on top right above your license plate right there and shout out cruise culture but yeah i know i need to clean underneath here but yeah it's gonna be right here you just press the button and open your trunk yeah with uh, another one of the cool features about the cruise so you have your key uh, like your key file and you press one like three times or press it like two or three times you guys should make all four your windows actually roll down i know you could do that in your gen 2 cruises not sure about your gen 1 cruises but that's a feature that you can make happen which is really really cool um I'm actually fascinated about that but yeah this is a quick rundown about some of the features about the chevrolet cruise um with some one of the things on the gen 2 cruise mentioning with like you can see the inlet um holes or like the housing for it but for like the intakes on like the gen 2 cruises like the 1.8 and such um but you want to look for the 1.4s it's right down there for us and i run basically right front sorry right front on the front of the tire and right below the car so yeah pretty cool any feature i haven't covered or i haven't talked to you about just let me know and we could go in more in detail about it stuff like that but also i can show you one more thing i should show you in actually the gen one cruise i uh, since i do have the lt feature um where you also could change out the dash um what well, that part right there and do like a test of touch screen stuff like that but in the other uh as you go up in trim level like ltz's and stuff like that as such you guys should uh, have more features and change many different settings such as the bluetooth um pick where phone you want to actually play music from or actually connect to but also like the road noise and sound noise, but when you actually want to play the volume and such as that. And also how the car, um, when you actually crank up on auto start, it won't actually put um, the heat or the air at full 
full blast, it actually goes in and drives you as the car warms up more and more. So it'd be more safer for your engine and also safe for whatever going on in your vehicle itself. I cool. haven't covered any features that I haven't that you don't have in your cruise um, or anything I didn't mention that you know about, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. I am curious. So what else features do your car have? Or just in general, you don't have a cruise. What features do you have? I want to know. I know my Camaro has some features, but I am curious. So yeah, until next time, keep cruising through life. Keep living your best life. This is.